Have you spoken to her about moving out yet? I'm just waiting for the right moment, babe. Oh, you're not getting cold feet, are you? No, 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 of course not. But come on, let's face it, she's been through a lousy time and I don't want anything else to upset her. She might be glad to get rid of you. Give her a bit of peace and quiet. Yeah, maybe. But then it's nice to have family around, isn't it? To take your mind off other stuff. Well, the sooner you ask her, the faster we move out. Once we've found somewhere, obviously. Mama, do you think Chaz will be pleased if me and the kids move out? Um, I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that whatever I say might incriminate me with one of you. It's just her and Paddy have been through hell, haven't they? And brooding just makes things worse, so maybe with us under her feet, she can't do that, so... Why don't you just talk to her? Yeah. Babe, can I have a word? What have you done now? Nothing. Just wanted a chat. Look, this is about last night. I'm sorry if I kept you awake. Things are better with me and Pads now, but you know what? You have a, a great way of taking my mind off things when I least expect it, so... Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, here you're off out with Marlon tonight. In up Market Bistro, apparently. Mm -hmm. Glad he's giving you the best. And you know what, if he ever gets lax, the rest of us dingles will keep him in line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, come on, what are you having? I brought you in for a lunchtime thank you drink. I had to pretty much drag her in. No, seriously, let me. The job really doesn't pay that well. Oh, you're just down about your, your thingy meat and the governor's, wasn't it? Oh, no, one of them days. I've given Victoria the menus for tonight, so we're ready to go. Whenever you finished at work? Yeah, I've got to go. I can't. I've got to get back to school. So why did you bail at one? Because you're the one that's going to be upset. You and your family. So my meeting. The governors are worried about an epidemic of bad behaviour. Well, hand out a few detentions and tell me you're dealing with it. I wish it was that simple. They know that Noah and a few others were responsible for flooding the school, even if they can't prove it. Well, if they've got no proof, there's nothing they can do. Unfortunately, there is. Noah's already got a number of strikes against him because of poor attendance. So I've been told that they want to exclude him as an example to the others. Oh, Charity's going to go mad. I don't think it's just going to be Charity, do you? I think your whole family's going to hold it against me. 